All right, so we're doing a bare bones meet here. We've we created the meet with our default events, and then the last tutorial that I did, we actually downloaded the rosters in here from MileSplit. So we have here is we have teams and we have athletes, but these athletes are not in any events. Uh, we're not really using this system with finish links or seating or anything. All we want to do is just get just type in the results. Um, just as if you know you'd use an Excel spreadsheet or paper or something else, you know you're just running a small meet. You just want to get down to business and just type it in. That's not a problem. Um, all we got to do is go to the events tab. We select the event that we're going to do, and guess what? You can just start typing here. So if I just type in J, you'll see it does my autocomplete, and I can just put in my person. It's going to put in the team automatically. I can go over here. I can type in the time. So type in 10:89 enter um, or if I hit tab and go to the next turn here I can type in I'm just kinda making up stuff so we can put in this guy here we can put 1102 we can put in nobody with the Y put in that guy here and put 1110 that's all we do we just type it in there and you can see when we download the rosters like that it does uh, it makes it really really easy now we can score it Sorry, YouTube. Um, so I just click score. You see it scores it. So now if I do my results, you're going to see there's results with my team scores. It doesn't get easier than this. This is what makes Race Tab so great.